Hi guys, Raisa here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do the second part of our haul. Yun yung aking um, face products. So mainly bronzers, highlighters, and blushes. Mostly blushes. But the products I'm going to mention, I'm still testing out. So hindi ko pa natatry yung iba dito. And yeah, I will try to do a mini review dun sa mga natsubukan ko na. So let's start off with the most I have. So this is the City Color B Matte Blushes. I have it in the shade Zinia. So this is what it looks like. This would best complement a pinay skin tone. I think Zinia would complement any skin tone. Pwede siya sa um, darker skin shades. Pwede rin siya sa mga medyo fair and uh, medium skin tone. The next color is in the shade Sweet Pea. This is what it looks like. So it's a very um, soft baby pink tone. So this is what Sweet Pea looks like. Definitely more uh, nude. Next shade is Sunset Safari. Also a very gorgeous shade. This oh, reminds me of the Xenia shade, but it's a bit darker. So this is the shade. Xenia dwells more on um, peachy, peachy shade. Uh, ito medyo may pagka pink siya sa kanyang undertone. And the last city color be matte blush that I have is Hibiscus. I included this in my favorites. So this is what the shade is. This is definitely a mauve shade. So ito yung Hibiscus. So again guys, just a rundown. This is the Sunset Safari, Zinia, Sweet Pea, and this is Hibiscus. Favorite ko sa mga to is yung Hibiscus and yung Zinia. The formula of this is very good. Like they're one of the top. Para silang high-end blushes para sa akin. They're very buttery, very pigmented, so you really have to be careful. It really depends. That could be a um, positive and a negative um, side of blushes. So ito, very buttery siya and very blendable. Kahit pigmented siya, it's very blendable. And this lasts for um, good 5 to 6 hours. So, okay siya. Okay rin siya sa may mga uh, oily skin. So, para sa akin, naglalast siya sa aking oily skin. Next one, I have 3 Milani Powder Blush. Ito yung mga, ano ba tawag dito? Sa mga rose blushes. Rose blushes na lang. Ito yung may mga cute embossed rose sa kanyang pinaka-blush. Not really the packaging, but the product itself. It's gorgeous. Just look at it. Almost, parang ayaw mo na siyang gamitin kasi ang ganda-ganda ng design niya. So I have here the three permanent line, permanent colors. Kasi nag-launch ang Milani nito ng walong shades yata. I'm not quite sure. Pero maraming shades. Pero limited edition yun. And they made this three permanent. So you can definitely get this online. The shade 08 or T Rose. Ito yung pinaka-pink sa tatlo. So this is what the rose looks like. Um, it's very, very um, pink and very sheer. So para sa ating may mga yellow skin tone, I don't think this would show up. Para sa mga medium skin tone like me, I don't think this would show up. That is tea rose. Not my favorite. This is not my favorite shade. A gorgeous shade. This is a romantic rose. This is what it looks like. Definitely more um, muted than the tea rose. Mas darker itong shade na to. Mas um, nagdudwal siya sa mauve. Mavi. Meron siyang Mavi undertone. Makakapanghinayang hawakan tong mga to guys kasi ang ganda-ganda ng rose niya. Parang feeling mo mabubura yung rose kapag ginagamit mo siya. So this is Romantic Rose. Again, Tea Rose and Romantic Rose. They say that Romantic Rose is a dupe for the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay in the shade Exposed. I haven't swatched them so we'll see. Meron din ako ng Exposed. Tignan natin kung dupe ba itong Romantic Rose. But it's really a nice color. Next shade I have is the Coral Coral Cove. Yes, Coral Cove. This is the brightest among them. And this would complement our skin tone. So let me give you a swatch. This looks very scary on the pan. Feeling mo sobrang bright niya, but it's actually not. You can definitely control them. This is what um, Coral Cove looks like. Just a rundown. This is again P Rose, Romantic Rose, and Coral Cove. Coral Cove, although it's scary on the pan, it's actually really nice on the skin. So that's that. This Milani blushes don't have any shimmers on them. So if you are again a lover of anything matte, you can try this one out. Unlike the baked blushes, wherein the mga baked blushes are talaga may shimmer and merong um, konting glitters kanila. This one they are matte. Although they are not very pigmented, you really have to work it out para makuha mo yung pigmentation. Again, that could be a negative and a positive side of a blush. So, kung kayo medyo takot kayo or um, hindi nyo pa makontrol ang pag-apply ng blush, you can definitely try this one because they are very forgiving. I'm still going to play with this one. 
hindi ko pa alam kung gano'n sila tumatagal on skin tone. I just tried to apply them for um, a few minutes lang. So, I'm not quite sure kung gano'n pa sila katagal sa ating cheeks. Lalo na sa may mga, sa may mga oily skin types like me. Next off, let's talk about the e.l.f. Mineral Blushes. Pressed Mineral Blushes. So, I have here three. Starting off with the lightest shade that I have, this is Sweet Retreat. Sweet Retreat is a matte blush. Yung iba merong shimmer. But this one is matte. Foreign YouTubers are raving about this shade. But us, Pinay skin tones, hindi natin to kayang ipull out. Unless talagang puting puti ka. I mean, talagang fair ang iyong skin. But it's really light for my skin tone. So let me give you a swatch. This is the swatch of Sweet Retreat. I don't think I can pull this off. Feeling ko masyado ako maitim para sa shade na to. So, I don't know. But, I'm still going to test this out. Hindi ko pa siya natatry sa aking cheeks because, yeah, I'm really afraid that I might be just packing powder. Na baka hindi naman siya mag-show off sa aking cheeks. But, we'll test it out. Next shade is the Cabo Cabana. The, out of the three, ito yung aking paborito. So, we'll just look at it. It's really a um, peachy shade. I will give you a swatch. Ito, meron siyang konting um, shimmer. But, this doesn't show off on your skin, so don't be afraid to try this one out. Kung gusto niya nitong e.l.f. Um, pressed mineral blushes. So this is the swatch that we have. Definitely mas kita siya kaysa doon sa ating Sweet Retreat. So next shade is Wonderlust. This is another mauve shade. This is Wonderlust. This is Sweet Retreat. This is Cabo Cabana. And this is Wonderlust. So this blushes again remind me of the City Color Be Matte Blush. This one really does a very nice pigmentation. Just skip the other blushes. Yung elf na mukha siyang NARS. Alam nyo ba yun? Yung pang square. Just skip them. Get the mineral blushes. Kasi this is definitely more pigmented than those. So kung namimili kayo ng um, easy to apply blushes, try this one out. It's definitely good quality. Mas mahal ito ng konti. Mas mahal ko siyang nakuha. Compared dun sa aking mga city color B matte blush. I have here two wet and wild color icon blushes. I have it in the shade Apricot in the Middle and Rose Champagne. Apricot in the Middle is really a nice name. So these are the new formulas. Bagong labas lang to, I think, early this year lang or late last year. So this is the new formula. Hindi ko pa natatry yung old formula nila, but I heard that these are um, better formulas. So this is in the shade Rose Champagne. I will give you a swatch. These are really shimmery blushes, almost like um, the Milani ones. I don't know if you can see the shimmer, but they are really um, shimmery. So if you're not a fan of anything shimmer, so kung mahili kayo sa mga matte blushes, you might want to take note na itong mga to ay medyo may pagka-shimmer sa kanila. So if you're really tan and yeah, if you have a darker skin tone, Rose Champagne will work out as a um, highlighter. Reminds me of the Cindy Luminizer of the Balm. Ganun yung kulay ng Rose Champagne. I don't know if this will appear on my skin tone. Let's hope. This Apri caught in the middle. This reminds me of Luminoso. Ganun yung kulay niya para sa akin. So this is Apricot in the middle. This has shimmer but this doesn't have glitter. Glitter is definitely different from shimmer. We, I can dwell with shimmers but I hate blushes with big chunks of glitters. Ito shimmer lang naman siya. Ang gusto ko sa mga shimmery blushes is hindi mo na kailangan mag-apply ng highlighter. Hindi mo na kailangan ng extra step to apply highlighter. You just need this and you're, you're glowing. You have the color and the glow that you need. So, so, ito yung ating rose champagne. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you can see the shimmer but they are definitely shimmery. And this is apricot in the middle. Speaking of wet and wild, I have this humongous product here. Kita nyo ba kung gano'n siya kalaki, guys? This is 11.5 grams. So, this is the wet and wild mega glow illuminating palette. Ito yung kanilang um, highlighter. So, this is what it looks like. It's humongous. Nagulat ako na ganito yung size niya. Nung una kala ko maliit lang siya. It's, it's like my palm. Ang gusto ko dito is yung kanyang ino-offer na shade. So, you get here four shimmer shades. A champagne one, two, Pink blushes, no, not blushes, pink highlighter. So this is the um, lighter pink and this is the darker one. Get here a um, yellowish, almost bronzy highlighter. So yung size nito is big enough to dip your brush just on one shade. So kung gusto nyo lang ito, pwede, ito, pwede, yan, pwede. Pwede kahit isa-isa lang dahil ang laki-laki ng pan niya. But definitely, you can use this all together. So pwede mo siyang i-swirl up and use the shades all together. 
So I don't know if it will show up, but this is the four shades. This is the champagne color. My definitely my favorite out of the four. This is the um, lighter pink one. This is the darker pink one. And medyo nahirapan ako iswatch yung darker pink. It it's not as pigmented as the rest. And this is the bronzy brand. To ang ating bronzy shade. So swirled all together, ito ang kanyang itsura. Definitely a um, nice shimmer. A bit pinky, a bit champagne-y, a bit bronzy. It's nice. The items I bought from Zalora. Zalora is pretty legit. In order ko siya ng ganitong araw and after two days dumating na siya. So I didn't expect na ganun kabilis dadating yung package. But Zalora is the only online shop that I can get sleek products. I mean sleek products na kapareho ng presyo ng binibenta sa mall sa Manila. So, Zalora is the only one. Alam ko meron din sa Sephora, but it's more expensive. The sleek products in Sephora.ph is more expensive than the actual price that we have here in the Philippines. So, sleek blush in the shade um, Suede. Um, Kathleen Lights. I feel like every video, binabanggit ko si Kathleen Lights. But yeah, she mentioned this on a previous favorite and I automatically grabbed it. Doesn't really show up when swatched. Usually naman kasi yung mga ganitong peachy coral shades, pangit sila pag nag-swatch. Ang boring nila sa pan. Like, this is like, it's nothing. It's not really exciting. Pero what I like about this one is you get here a mirror. 425, okay na. But this is the swatch. I don't know if you can see. It doesn't really show up on the swatch. But it's a very natural blush. Parang wala kang in-apply na blush. Ganun to. So, you don't expect this to be vava boom on the cheeks because this is definitely a neutral, natural peach blush. Next item I got from Zalora is the Face Contour Kit of Sleek. So, you get here two products. You get here a bronzer, a contour, and a um, highlighter. This is the contour that I'm wearing right now. Definitely showing up on my skin tone. This is in the shade medium. They have the light and the medium. I don't know if they have the dark. But uh, ang available sa Zalor is yung medium and pretty much uh, pinay skin tone, medium ang pwede. So this is the contour powder. Uh, you have to be careful because it's really powdery so you have to really tap it off but definitely blendable so don't worry. And this is the highlighting highlighter. This is a really subtle highlight so if you're afraid to use anything highlighter, lalo na sa ating may mga oily skin na may natural shimmer na dyan, so, this is really a good product to try. And this is the Suede. Suede doesn't really show up on my swatch, but when I'm wearing it, it's showing on my skin. So, yung mga malalapit sa mga sleek counters, you can go grab this one out. Try nyo lang sila. It's worth the try. So, swerte kayo kasi meron malapit na mall na nagbenta ng ganito. So, I have here three e.l.f. products. Two e.l.f. baked highlighter and one e.l.f. Big blush. I have here a big highlighter in the shade Blush Gems. This has a very pink undertone. It ayo sa mga highlighter na to is matika sa pan, so it's not buttery at all. But this is what it looks like. Definitely gorgeous. Definitely shimmery. I don't know if you can see. I hope you can. Famous Moonlight Pearls. So ito ang itsura niya. More champagne, -y, less pink than the Blush Gems. So this is what it looks like. I am really working hard to swatch them but this is what it looks like can you see again mas um mas pink yung blush gems than the uh, moonlight pearls I have one big blush which is actually a highlight for me the quality of this is it's so good this is in the shade pink plastic so i don't know dahil siguro blush to mas buttery siya so you get Great pigmentation in one swipe, unlike the others, na kailangan ko talaga siyang i-work out. Pinktastic looks like. This is originally a blush, but this is not a blush for me. So this is the three highlighters from e.l.f. Ang ganda nila, guys. So if you are really um, looking for a cheaper alternative for the Becca ones and the, the Balm ones, try this one out. And last but not the least is the NYX Powder Blush in the shade Taupe. This is a really famous product because of Nikki Tutorials. She raved about this one and this is the swatch. This is originally a blush but we are using this for contour. So if you are the person who likes to dwell on the neutral to almost cool toned contour shade, this is the one you should try. As for me, I dwell on the warmer shades like the sleek one. Mas gusto ko yung mga, ganun, mga warmer um, contour shades 
But yeah, this is a really nice product to try, especially for the fair girls. Those are all the products that I have accumulated, ang aking mga blushes, highlighters, and bronzers, and I'm still on the process of testing them out, so I still don't know. But right now, if you're going to ask me what the products worth buying, that would be the City Color B Matte Blush. Another thing that I highly recommend is the Elf Baked Blush in the shade Pink Plastic. So if you are a um, starter in applying highlighters. You can see this more on my um, Get Ready With Me's or tutorials if I will do any. Anyway, if you'd like to know, the um, contour that I use right now is again the Sneak um, Contour Kit in the shade Medium. The highlight I have is a, the Elf Pink Plastic Highlight, the Brow Bone and the Inner Corners uh, and the Tip of the Nose Highlight. Tip of the Nose. Tip of the Nose Highlight is um, Pink Tastic Lipstick Ofra Miami Fever um, 35 O palette. I always forgot to include uh, the things I wear in the description box. So there you have it. So that's it for this video. I hope this helped you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. See you in my next video. Always remember, be beautiful, be you. Bye! I'm very um, easy to apply blush. Eh. Blushes. Color, coral, color, color blush. A very because this is definitely a um, because this is definitely a um, because this is definitely a very full line nito yung ating lumang yung fu, uh, lumang fu, 